that's the neat thing about teaching skills. Skills have to be taught at every level, but you have to adjust the skills to your age group, but they still have to be taught. But you're building a basketball mentality and offense of unselfishness. And you're teaching them how to play, and it all comes back. What we want to do is we want to weak the middle pick and roll. Anybody know weak? We want to force it left, okay? Um, there are a few teams in the NBA that have left-handed point guards. Shooting is a muscle memory reflex, which means that the muscles have to do the same thing every time. Does it matter they don't have a basketball? Not really. You can become a better shooter because those muscles have to do the same thing every time. But don't let them just dribble the ball through the lane, go cut, and do this, because that's what they're going to want to do, but it's a bad habit. So don't allow the habit. That's good coaches. Good coaches discipline and take away bad habits, even when they don't feel like doing it. It's hard, and you got to be confident when you say it. Look them in the eye, let them know this is how we're doing it. One, two, three. Good. Some things they do in the NBA, a lot of times they'll either reverse it and pin down, but I want you to ball fake it, come back, dribble hand off here. So it's long term. You gotta love the process. And as a coach, it's not something that you're gonna see a big change in on a daily basis. But we tell our players, you know what, you just have to be a little bit better today than you were yesterday. You don't have to be this much better, just a little better. Because in about two months, when you put all those little betters together, it's gonna be a lot better.